Hi everyone, welcome back to Amit Melanoma series, Melanoma 101. My name is Melissa Wilson, physician assistant, and today we're gonna to be talking about the treatment of stage one melanoma. Um, so before I begin, um, I just wanna review um, what stage one melanomas are. Essentially, stage one melanoma is a melanoma that has grown through the epidermis and is now um, grown down into the dermis. They can be up to two millimeters in Breslow depth, so that means that physically measuring from the top of the melanoma, they can come all the way down to the two millimeters depth, which is extending fairly um, deeply into the dermis. Stage one um, melanomas um, are further broken down pathologically as 1A or 1B. Um, they Stage 1A melanomas tend to be non-ulcerated and less than one millimeter in Breslow depth. Um, 1B melanomas can be ulcerated and less than one millimeter, or they can have a, a deeper T um, staging. The tumor stage can be T2, meaning that it goes from 1.01 millimeters to two millimeters, but really be non-ulcerated. So that represents um, the T2A category. So when you're breaking down stage one, it can be clinically stage 1A, which encompasses either a thin melanoma that is non-ulcerated um, or a thin melanoma that does have ulceration that's still considered stage one, or you can have stage 1B that has a little bit deeper tumor um, within the 1.01 to two millimeters depth, but is non-ulcerated. So that's how you break down stage 1A and 1B. Again, the pathologic stage would be T either 1A, T1B, or T2A. N is still going to be zero because this does not involve any lymph node involvement. And M will still be zero because it does not metastasize um, to the outside organs um, far from where the primary site is. So that is a review of what a stage one melanoma looks like. Um, so what is the treatment of stage one melanoma? Much like melanoma in situ, because these are thinner melanomas that may only be breaking the surface of the dermis. Really, surgery is the mainstay for stage one melanomas. Um, patients that are in the stage one stage will have a wide excision. Um, unlike the melanoma in situ, this will be a little bit more involved. So the margins for, um, I'm sorry, the stage one melanomas will be a little bit bigger. So for melanoma in situ, that margin was about five millimeters for stage one. Um, because of the Breslow depth, that margin will be somewhere between one and two centimeters um, in all directions around the melanoma. Um, this is the first time that we also get into something called a sentinel node. So what a sentinel node is, is it is a mapping of the lymphatic channels that drain um, the tumor. So to allocate this example, um, if I had a melanoma here on my arm, when I went to have my wide excision, the surgeon, um, if it was indicated, would inject a radioisotope dye into the skin around where my melanoma was, and then he would map it to see where it went. Most of the time for a melanoma on the extremity, it will map somewhere within the extremity higher, most likely the axilla or the armpit. Um, a sentinel node is important because it carries prognostic factors that would change the stage um, from a stage one or two melanoma to a stage three, if it had even just one cell of melanoma in the lymph node. So this is where we first start to see um, the use of a sentinel node. Um, the criteria is that the melanoma, according to the AJCCA guidelines, the melanoma has to have a Breslow depth of around 0.75 millimeters um, or have some prognostic factors that make it risky for spread like ulceration, mitosis, thing like, things like that. So the mainstay for treatment for stage one melanomas, whether they're stage 1A or stage 1B, is surgery first with wide excision. If the melanoma is um, within that 0.75 millimeter range, um, a sentinel node would also um, be recommended at that time. There is no um, adjuvant or preventative therapy in stage one disease because these melanomas tend to be thin and you know, sequestered to the skin, but proper surgical um, removal is really the most important part, along with surveillance after your surgery has com been completed. 
If you have any questions about the treatment for stage one melanoma, please feel free to reach out to me on the Ask an Expert line. Otherwise, thank you for joining us and have a wonderful day.